Hey guys, how's it going? So, in this video, we are going to be talking about Hexo because Hexo seems to be a popular subject. A lot of people seem to search it and look at it simply because it's a penny stock and they could potentially make a lot of money off this penny stock. Absolutely. But in this video, we're going to be talking about possible reverse split that could happen in Hexo. Hexo has not came out and declared that they're going to do a reverse split yet. So they could do it anytime and, they, and maybe they don't even want to warn shareholders because they need to continue to list on the New York Stock Exchange and if they don't, the stock is going to get delisted. I don't think they want to get delisted from the New York Stock Exchange in my opinion. So I think, just my personal opinion, not, you know, I don't, like, nothing, uh, just, I think that they should do a reverse split, because getting their stock to a dollar is really, really hard. They need, they basically need a $400 million market cap, so they need another $70 million to get pumped into their stock. $70 million is not a lot, so really, at the end of the day, is it retail investors that is pushing this above the... And if it goes back to a dollar, there's going to be some massive profit taking. So it's going to dip back down. It's going to be very volatile between, you know, 80 cents to a dollar. Uh, I don't think they're going to go, you know, to a dollar fifty, two dollars uh, Because at a dollar fifty, that would give them a market cap of... At two dollars, that would give them a market cap of eight hundred million. At a dollar fifty, that would give them a market cap of six hundred million dollars. I don't think Hexo deserves a six hundred million dollar market cap. I think they should be more of like a two hundred and fifty million dollar market cap or even less, maybe a hundred million dollar market cap. Uh, I bought some in speculation that big money will push Hexo out of the dollar range. And I am up on my position. I don't have a big position because I, you know, my thought is there was a possibility that Hexo could do a reverse split. So I didn't buy any, like buy a huge amount, but I am up on my position. I could sell it, take my profit and run, or I can gamble that big money will come in and push the stock price out of the 80 cents range, uh, into the dollar range. And then I could really make a profit because hey, this thing go to a dollar. I'm taking my profit. So just letting you guys know that this thing goes over a dollar. I'm going to be taking my profit because I just don't think uh, Hexo will go to $2 or $1.50. I say best case scenario, they go to $1.10. But over a dollar, I'm taking my profit. I see over a dollar, I'm going to be taking my profit. So just uh, my two cents. I might even take my profit before that because I don't think that they could push the stock price out of the dollar range. I don't know at the end of the day what I'm going to do. I might change my mind at the last minute. So just letting you, disclosing you that I, I do have a position. I will share it over the weekend. I will make a more dedicated video on Hexo. So, uh, I, you know, uh, and you know, there was 81 likes on this video. So, you know what, I'm going to do it, I'm going to show my position just because I am a nice guy and I appreciate everyone that gave me those 81 thumbs up. So, uh, and if you want, if you don't mind, I would appreciate a thumbs up for this video too. And if you don't ever watch me again, please subscribe to my channel. Just simply because one day I want to hold that placard and say, I did it. I have a hundred thousand subscribers on my YouTube channel. J just in it as an achievement, that would be like one of the proudest moments of my life if I ever get that plaque. If I do, you know, it, it, I feel like that plaque is like, you know, becoming a millionaire. That's, I hope I one day to get that. I don't know if it will, but I'm really, really hoping. Uh, GameStop after hours, uh, up 8 cents. Not too much to say about that. I mean, let me ask you a question. If Which company would you rather buy out completely? GameStop for 260 cents? Like, let's say you had a choice to buy out a company completely, like 100%. Would you pay 
two, like, uh, you know, uh, two, like, you only have two choices and you have to buy one of them. Uh, would you buy out GameStop completely for $267 million? Or will you buy out Hexo for $334 million? US. Which company would you prefer to buy out as a complete business? In, uh, so, because you gotta look at when you buy into either Hexo or GameStop, do I want to own this business? Do I believe in this business? Do I uh, think management can change the business around? As a shareholder, can I give my recommendations? Because I think that GameStop, if they can change up their business, change, uh, uh, mor morph it into something else, they can make a lot of money. A lot of money. They need to find a way to get into the digital arena with Steam and Stadia and uh, Sony and Microsoft and they need to partner with them. Like for example, for PlayStation Plus, uh, in order to access the Game Hub or GameStop app, uh, you need to sign up to PlayStation Plus. And then, uh, so PlayStation Plus will get some money from the sign up. And then when you use the GameStop app, you can then play with your friends on the Xbox or the PC. So Sony, all Sony really cares about is people buying their consoles and signing up to their uh, online service. Because Sony knows that that's their milk and butter is their online service. So the, you know, uh, and GameStop could advertise that we connect gamers. We connect gamers all over the world uh, onto, uh, onto all platforms. If they can come out with some kind of scenario like that, GameStop would be worth 12 maybe even $50 billion. I'm not even joking. I'm, if, if GameStop can find a way to connect gamers uh, and become a, a hub for gaming... I think GameStop will value will skyrocket and we can see this thing at 400 US dollars. It would be like the new Netflix of like gaming. But GameStop needs to be aggressive. They need to find a way into the digital world in order to change up the, the thing. I will be making more dedicated video on this over the weekend. Uh, American Airlines uh, got pushed up. So that's good. I mean... Uh, it's continuing to go up, so uh, maybe big money will still continue to trade it up and up and up, and maybe this thing will go to like twenty. Maybe this thing will go back to thirty dollars. Why not? Why? Why not? I mean, uh, at that point, I'd probably short it because I'll hope that it crashes again. But you know, because earnings are gonna come around and they're gonna be horrible. They're just going to be horrible when they announce earnings on July twenty third, twenty twenty. It's going to be really bad. It's going. They're gonna lose so much money. Uh, so that's my opinion. Uh, that's why I would short it if it goes back to thirty dollars for sure. Uh, Genius Brands. Genius Brands is up seven cents after hours. Uh, Drag King uh, up six cents. Not too much to say about that. I still think this is overvalued, but that's just my opinion. Aurora down three cents after hours. I want Aurora stock to crash. I have very interesting video uh, coming out tomorrow for you guys. Canopy, Canopy is up three cents, four cents. Uh, Afria is down two cents. Kron is neutral. Cam Batley leaves Aurora. Uh, takes oh wait, oh, that's my old article. <laughs> wait. That, that's that's a hint for tomorrow's video. Uh, Nicola, Nicola Motors. Oh, oops. Wait. Duh. Since it's such a new company, after hours, it's $35.80. After hours, it's down 17 cents. Not too much to say about that. I'm just, you know, it, I think that um, Nicola Motors 
uh, is overvalued. But even if it says the market cap of a billion, that's completely wrong. I, I think it's overvalued, but the, the shares haven't been released yet. Maybe it's a lot, lot less shares than what people expect. Maybe. I don't know. At the end of the day, we'll see. The dilution of the stock is really important. Uh, but rich people control the stock. So if they want to plummet the stock, they will. True Eve is down three cents. Liberal Health Science is trading sideways. Madman is trading sideways. Ianthus is up a penny. Uh, Harvest is trading sideways. Cresco Labs is trading sideways. Kira Leaf had a nice pop near the end of the day. But yeah, that's it for my video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for future updates and have a great day. Bye.